What's up? We're gonna do back today. Now back is it's a really important component of your physique. A lot of people wouldn't think so. If you're trying to look juicy as fuck in a shirt, you definitely like a big back. It's neglected a lot because people mostly see like your chest and arms, but like when you put on a shirt and you don't really have like a wide or thick back, your shirt doesn't really fill out as much. And I would say for a beginner, the most important part or the most important exercise for back would be deadlifts. It's also, I'd say the most, one of the, mo one of the more complicated exercises. To demonstrate that, I'm gonna let my good friend Billy Bob show you. All right, let's do it. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, there it is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty complicated movement there's a lot of room for error for sure there's a lot of opportunities for you to hurt yourself you definitely want to get like these shoes fucking suck you don't want to use these shoes I'm gonna use these shoes, don't do what I'm doing. You definitely either want a flat, flat sole shoe, like Converse are good, or you could spend, if you're big baller, those $100 powerlifting shoes. But honestly, I'd say the best option is for you to just take your shoes off and do this exercise. Because you get a better, stable base and if you fuck yourself up, you know it's not because of your shoes, it's because you fuck yourself up. Um, there's different grips for deadlifting. The most common one you'll see is over under. Usually the dominant hand is over and the non-dominant is under. So you would see a grip like, like this when deadlifting. So yes, you can lift more with this grip but my personal preference is to do over, over, un, over, over grip. Because like if you go to Google or say you go to YouTube and you literally type in bicep tear, try that shit, type in bicep tear. 90% of the videos you're gonna see is motherfuckers doing one of these grips, deadlifting the underhand because they're, they're struggling so hard to pull up this weight that you, you tend to like pull up with the under with the underhand grip and when you do that you fucking there's there's a big room there's a big risk for you to fucking tear your bicep doing that I actually got injured slightly when I first started working out because I had one of these grips so I would say over over would be the best option for you so, kind of like when you're benching, you can't really see the, the knurling here, but, so it's right here, you would just do the thumb grip, just like when you bench, and then you would close your fist, right? All right, so you have your grip set, uh, your bar is on the floor, take your shoes off, unless you got fucking good shoes. Um, you will come right up to the bar, just like this, with your grip. And at the bottom of the movement, right here, it's literally like you're doing a squat. So you're gonna be like this, doing a squat at the bottom, right? So, I'll show you the movement. And you always wanna keep your head up, that way your back does not arch, or does not bend. So you'll do this. Just like that. At the top, you want to push your hips forward. Like you're, you know what I mean? Push your hips forward. So essentially, bottom of the movement, it's right here, it's a squat. You're using your legs at the bottom, your back is straight, like this. You're always looking up, you're always looking up. 
When you come up here, then it's your back. You drive with your hips and you push your hips forward. <laughs> Remember, your, your head is always like this. You do that so that you don't bend your back at the bottom and your, your back is always straight. So I'll show you again. Come up to the bar, get your grip. At the bottom is a squat. You're looking up the whole time. And at the top, you straighten up. It seems easy because I'm doing it, but it might take some practice for you. And this should definitely be like the core exercise for you to get a thick, solid, tight back. There's two components to back training. Um, for you to train your width and your thickness are two different sets of exercises. So when you're doing, say you want a thicker back, meaning thicker in this way. Uh, any variation of rows will help you build that up. Also, deadlifts is really good. So anything where you're bringing things to your chest. And it doesn't matter the grip, it'll just train, sli train slightly a different part of your back. So if you're under and bring stuff to you, uh, if you're doing the close grip, bring stuff to you. Um, that's for thickness, for width, is any variation of pull down. So if, if it's up here and you're bringing it down to you, it's really gonna help with your witness and give you the flying squirrel lats, you know what I'm saying? So, since you're just starting to work out, also this is a video for beginners, if you already know your shit, you might still learn some shit. Watch this anyways to help me with views. For width, you, you probably can't do a pull-up yet. So since you can't do this yet, you want to mimic this movement on this bar, right? So since you can't do these yet with your body weight, you want to mimic that movement with the grip on this bar, right? And so you want to do different variations of that. So you want to do, say like, a neutral grip, the really wide grip. I don't know what you call this grip, but it's like this. And then supinated, pronated, doesn't matter. No one talks like that. So pretty much where your grips are over, your fuck, or your, your wrists, your hands are away towards, away from you. God damn it. Pretty much like this or like this. Supinated, pronated. You don't want to do this. You know what I'm talking about. I'll show you. So since you're trying to mimic that, remember you're trying to mimic that shit right there so that you can advance to that and do that with your body weight. Uh, you're going to get a grip that closely mirrors that, right? Nah, this is fine. So you're going to get into it. You pin your legs. You're going to make sure your back is always arched. You don't want to lean back like this because that'd be more of a row. You kind of want to stay, and you can't stay completely vertical. I'd say probably like a 30 degree angle like this. You keep your chest out, you keep your back straight, your back arched, and you just pull it down to you. And that's it. So then this would, this would mirror the really long grip. So you want a flat grip now. You would do this, same shit, I'll show you. Arch your back, keep your chest out, pull it down towards you. And then you want the, this grip here. And it's the same movement. Uh, essentially for back training, it's literally the same movement, it's just your grip changes. It's either wide, close, or under or neutral, we had not show you that. That's like this. And the same thing for back, or for rows. The movement is the same. The only difference is the grip. 
Same thing with this grip. Someone whose name I will not mention because it would be a disgrace to call them a friend after this will attempt to show you this exercise. I, I, I don't, I don't, I, uh, uh, it's called a neutral grip. Pretty much sit down, arch your back, just bring it towards you, not too far back, not too far forward, so you'll hit your head, it's about 30 degrees, and that's it. You just keep doing that for 11 years and you'll be swell as fuck. Uh, another good mass builder for your back is rows. This is also going to be one of like your critical back exercises and there's two different ways you can do this. You can do this at where your back is like a 45 degree angle or like almost like a 90 degree angle. You just want to be careful that you don't bend your back like so, so you don't get any injuries. So your grip you want about shoulder width, a little bigger than shoulder width. And you're gonna, you always stick your chest out, you always arch your back. And here's the 45 degree version, which is like this. You should really feel that contraction in your upper back. And then the much harder, almost 90 degree version would be like this. And it's literally the same movement for the under under grip. You just, uh, just make sure you never arch your back. It's a lot easier to just always look up. That way it's easier for you to keep your back straight and not rounded. And this is how you do the underhand row. Same deal. Both your hands are under the bar. 45 degree version. the close to 9 degree version. Hey, what's up? If you like that back video, just, you know, come by next week. I'll have another video for you. Hold on. Yo. Hey, I told you I'm doing a video right now. Mike, can't be calling me. No. No, I'll be there later, everybody. It's like I was saying, just, you know, next week, tell your friends, tell your family.